Jason French and this is Kelly Cox. Welcome to another edition of Curation. In this series, we take two artists and put them together for a once in a lifetime experience. And what a better place to do that than at Pickathon. On this episode, we head to New Orleans to talk with Tank and the Bangas. We're also gonna hang out with Chef Carl Hall of Spätzle and Speck and see what he has planned for us. So let's start out in the heart of downtown Portland with Chef Carl. Because you're gonna do Sunday brunch at Pickathon. Uh, it's with Tank and the Bangas, who's Tank this the amazing Bangas. band out of New Orleans. It's like Sunday brunch, the funk, New Orleans band, Bay Area chef, yeah. moved to Portland. The idea of moving up here was kind of like we could be able to give a go at growing everything that we were gonna cook. I mean, do you guys have farming experience? Is that? Uh, no, we didn't really grow up farming. Uh, had a lot of experience of like knowing farmers. Like stylistically, though, I mean, ingredient-wise, driven by the farms, the seasons. Yeah. Stylistically, do you come out of any one cuisine, or do you just? Do you, I definitely you just have feel like Italian influence. That's uh, a big part of yeah, background. cooking in right. San Francisco with Stefan. I'm Carl Hall, the uh, chef of Spatzel and Speck. Kind of grew up cooking in a family restaurant. My grandmother had a restaurant growing up. Cooked kind of through high school, and then uh, was like, well, some culinary school would kind of further my education, and really just fell in love with cooking. I like to say that my cooking is in the moment. We have a small farm where we uh, grow and raise the majority of everything we cook, so a lot of that is just, you know, my food is driven through kind of what's growing what we're raising. It makes cooking kind of easy for me because I don't have to think about what I want because it's already there, you know? So it's more of like, well, what do we do with this now? And how do we work in the moment? And, you know, Tank made it really easy for me, I feel like, uh, with the song. Uh, it's like, and the meats, of the beets and the lettuces. We have this beautiful plum tree that we're gonna use some plums and do a uh, beet and plum gazpacho. It's always about working in the moment and being able to adapt to change. So to say that the menu will change, it's always changing. I feel like our food is an expression of our farm. You know, our grandparents, you know, always had a larder and we're always preserving and raising animals and growing vegetables and, you know, putting things in the storage cellar for the winter. And I think it's something that we've gotten away from as a whole and kind of bring back that homesteading kind of component, but having a platform to be able to serve food as well. What are you, what are you, what are you thinking? What, what's, what's the plan? We have uh, some, a beautiful plum tree on the farm, so maybe like a plum uh, gazpacho. Oh yeah, that's very, some, that's very, that's nice. very Oregon. Yeah. So this nice is all coming salad. from, yeah, from, from your spot, yeah. yeah, yeah Pigs sure. too. Pigs too. And your new venture, Spatzel and Speck. Spatzel and Speck, yeah. That's the, is that German? You know, my family comes from Germany and, yeah. but I've cooked Italian and really fell in love with Italian, but the idea of still like curing prosciutto and rolling out pasta is still yeah. Spatzel and Speck is a German, German yeah. style of that, that, right? right. So uh, definitely uh, for like, farm focused, but uh, a little bit of Italian, German kind of notes to the cooking for sure. Soul food and soul music. Yeah. And it's gonna be, um, it's, I think it's gonna be a great lineup. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. All right. Cool, we're excited. Go yeah. make us yeah. things. Yeah. I will, we'll I see will. you there. Good to see you guys. Cure it, roll yeah. it. We'll yeah. see you soon. and the recipients of NPR's Tiny Desk Awards in 2017, Tink and the Bangas are a perfect combination of... Amazingness! Exactly. Let's go all the way to New Orleans now and talk to Tank and the Bangas and see how they would define their personal musical style. <laughs> music is love, love is music if you know what I mean. People that believe in music are the happiest people I've ever seen. Mm. So grab along, grab your family if you know what I mean. Oh. Know what I mean. 
Yay. I mean, I think everybody could say something different about what New Orleans gave them. I mean, it oh, honestly man. gave me um, just to never stop, even if you like tired as I don't know what. Those people be out there on those corners of freshmen, those children, they're entertaining constantly. They're, they grinding. I was uh, past his daughter, well, past his granddaughter, which might as well be the same thing. You gotta be there every Sunday. But I was around all these good um, elders in the community, like Asian Rainey and Sonny Patterson, and they taught me um, how to basically raise up a child. They always did. And then soon I was literally inside of the music world, mixed with the poetry world. I was taught that everything had a place and how to arrange it. And um, you know, when I finally, uh, met these musicians, they taught me how to truly put order to it and um, that there was just a place for everything. So I was lucky to always be around people that were always encouraging, super encouraging. I like the type of music that girls listen to while they get dressed. Like somebody like my little brother. You know, anytime I play him some of our music, I, I like just be looking just to see if his head bobbing. If his head bobbing, it's righteous. Nobody's telling us what to do or how to do it, and it just couldn't come truly from um, from my heart. And um, it's a bunch of gibberish, and then we'll probably go sit down and actually organize the chaos. And that's the so fun part. No, it's not. <laughs> that's the fun part, man. Is fun that is the part. fun part. It's the fun part for yeah. these guys who actually it's like, like a puzzle. to puzzle. Puzzle's arrange that's the, music. That's the, yeah, man. Back in those days. We've been eating shrimp. We've been eating crawfish pasta. We all got some bad. So we've been eating Po' boys. But my mama grabbed me by my shirt. It's shrimp po' boys. We've been eating catfish. Man, we, we had some good real. But they smacked me on my back. New Orleans is food. Food is New Orleans. I heard somebody making okra gumbo tomorrow. <laughs> Tank and the Bangas and Carl Hall. Oh, this is like the most exciting way to start Sunday morning, the last day of Pickets On, with having you guys here. No, we're thrilled. This is, uh, everything's been going so well all weekend, and I think this, um, this is gonna be a big one for everyone. <laughs> the whole idea behind this series, too, is just <clears throat> creative thoughts and collaboration kind of come together. I know you guys did a little bit of communicating. The song was just talking about food. I was like, this is so, you pretty much just made the menu by yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tank, what's the, what, what, are, what are the ingredients in the song? Uh, meat, beets, greens, peas, milk, fruit, eggs. Eggs. And you. It's like we got the greens, we got the beets, we got obviously got the meat because I don't go anywhere without some cured products for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, so Are you guys excited ready. to eat? Like, because you're on the road a lot. Do that, you get to eat much? That's not even the type of question you ask. <laughs> <laughs> we are oh, all lineage. If you say we are New Orleans, always ready to eat. <laughs> New Orleans, a friend of mine said New Orleans is the only place where you talk about lunch at breakfast, dinner at lunch. <laughs> yeah. <breakfast> at dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what we look forward to every time we travel. It's um, it's the stage. You know what type of stage we're gonna be performing on. Um, what type of food is going to be there, and um, yeah. what type of Airbnb we're going to stay? In. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, talk a little bit about the music, because I know it's Sunday. It's 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 jazz brunch, right? Oh, yeah. You guys have a lot of jazz influence, a lot of New Orleans, like the, that kind of deep New Orleans jazz. Who's who's doing the music? Who's doing the lyrics? Who's doing the? Talk a little bit. Dang. Talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. Lay it down. It's really collective on the sleep. Like it. It just makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it would make complete sense to uh, do our food song yeah, here today. Because yeah, uh, we're going to eat and chill and be amongst the people. Because normally, you know, as a band, we eat away from people. You know, we after the show is done. So just to perform that one awesome song and then come back and sit down and eat with everybody yeah. is going to be awesome. So we're going to get everybody hungry yeah. and get everybody in their feelings, yeah. uh, which is our <laughs> speciality. And um, 
It's going to be some vibes, man. Quiz. It's going awesome. to be perfect. It's going to be some really good vibes it's on be a Sunday, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank excited. you so much for joining us, yeah. Carl. Yeah. It's always perfect. a pleasure. Really excited to and see you And some good food. Thank, thank you so much. You. Well, let's thank do you. it. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's get this Sunday going. Come on. So make me a win. I can't I know. I just don't know. Such a special day. I cannot tell you. I get fired up for Pickathon every year. Uh, I get pick, uh, fired up for multiple reasons. I bring in a bunch of chefs who are friends of mine. I bring in a bunch of food folk from Portland to feed you guys a little extra something special. And then we get to sit here in this magical setting with all these amazing people. And then it's about the music, right? We started off with a little bit of lardo. It's from the pigs that we raise on our farm. A little bit of Groundworks grapes, plum and pepper preserve. And then uh, in the soup bowl, you have a uh, chilled beet plum and blackberry soup uh, with a little bit of honey yogurt and almonds. And then uh, have a couple of salads coming for you. Hope you guys enjoy everything. Why are we here? We're going to hear Tank and the Bangas right now, guys. Get it on. Get it on. different for us and so fresh and organic and it just makes me think of people that actually live their life like they're just eating healthy eating white uh, being conscious of their choices and uh, it's something that me and the band have actually been thinking about a lot lately so uh, I, I thank you for um, something that excited my oh, taste buds of course I would have loved a piece of sausage yeah you got you had a good time Carl, you're time. happy? Yeah. Everybody loved your cold soup? Yeah, I really was excited to serve the cold <laughs> soup, Kelly. Oh Thanks. <laughs> Every time! <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, crazy! Next, no one told me. Uh, like, <laughs> Kelly, I can believe. Kelly was hosting. <laughs> it's always <laughs> great. It's always great. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> pick a thon, 2017. Oh, what you got in that cup? What you got in that cup? I'm Tank, Tank in the Bangas, born inside of a rainbow. And I want to thank you guys for enjoying us.
a what? A you are like a. Use your words. A you are like a. A you are like a. You are like a. Hey, like a fruit loop. You're like a loop loop. I feel like I'm going round and round with you. You feel like the nose inside my soup. But don't nobody get full off of bleaching just soup. Okay.